It's only in its fourth year, but Flair Fest continued its tradition of bringing out some of the best Flair bartenders from across the globe this week. This year's event featured the number one and number two Flair bartenders from the Northwest and the top two Canadians. That group made up four of this year's top ten finalists, and in the end it came down to Jason Osborne, who took home the award for cleanest round, and Canada's number one Flair bartender, Micah Dew. Here, I don't know if I had the most technical flair or, or I definitely didn't have the cleanest round tonight. You know, Jason Osborne, he's awesome. So it wasn't those aspects, but it was the whole aspects of everything else. So it's the amount of objects that you use, the amount of different variety, the amount of speeds that you use. So there's a lot of things that people go, you know, you had an awesome show, but they may not know what the judges are looking for. Uh, so that, you know, I think I just hit on everything else that, you know, maybe some people didn't. Micah is originally from Kelowna and got his start at Splash's nightclub six years ago. He currently bartends at the Roxy in Vancouver and is part of the Flair Bartenders Association Pro Tour where he currently sits in 23rd place and of course is the top Canadian. He attends competitions around the world but is always excited to compete at home and it doesn't hurt that this event is currently one of the top competitions in North America. Competing against the number two bartender Ryan Clark that's a challenge all the time, so anytime I could beat him and we nudge each other and push each other all the time, so he'll be taking my spot soon, I know you will. So anything to do with that, coming back to a hometown, coming back to where you know a lot of people, it always means a lot more winning there. You know, I can do competitions in Denmark, in Las Vegas, and multiple diff like destinations around the world, but coming back to Kelowna and actually doing it, that means the most for sure. Kelowna has become a hot spot for flair bartending with Level and Gotchias both employing full-time flair staff. It's also growing around the world with competitors from Argentina, Uruguay, England and the United States currently sitting in the top 10 on the FBA tour. Some of the competitors will work a day job as a bartender but training for events is now taking up a large portion of their time as they prepare for competitions around the world. I probably practice, you know, before a comp about four hours a day, you know, for about you know three weeks, and for harder comps where we have multiple different aspects to it, like a speed test or a pour test, it's going to take months, you know, sometimes longer. So it takes a lot of dedication, a lot of practice, and then you know, once you come out, now you have to perform to people, which is just the best, the best feeling is when they give you that reaction. So it really does take a lot of dedication. This year's event offered up over $8,000 in prize money, with the winner taking home over $2,000. It also attracted a large media contingent, with MTV and Global both on hand for the two-day event. If you'd like more information about flair bartending in the Okanagan, visit the Bartenders Guild website. Reporting from Kelowna, I'm Brendan Osborne for Shaw.